Alright, so let's talk about the backspace string term here. So you're giving a string s and t, so return true if they are actually equal. So it doesn't uh, doesn't mean uh, you have to be an empty text, but if, if they are equal, then you can return true. So uh, quickly, so palm means actually the backspace character, so you delete the previous one. So this is pretty much it, right? And uh, let's look at this. So if, if you see the palm, right? So you delete, delete the previous one. And then you see the pound, you did the previous one. So now both strings are actually AC, right? You're, you're written true. And then this one, then you did the previous one, which is B. And then uh, now you see another one. And then since the, the remaining character are, are, are A, uh, yeah, the remaining character is A, so you did it A. So same as this one, you see you see the pound, you did the previous one. And then you see another pound, you did the previous one. So you return true. And then in this one, like you delete the previous one, which is A. So the, the remaining is character C. C doesn't equal to what? It's not doesn't equal to B, right? So this is pretty much it, right? So uh, in this question, you can use in a stack. So stack is pretty straightforward. Uh, when you whenever you see the character, you append, and then when you see the palm, and then you delete the previous one. And only if you not like if the stack is not empty, so you can delete, right? If the stack is empty, and then you see the palm, and then you trying to pop. This is not going to work, right? So uh, I'm going to just create a helper function. I'm going to call say public, uh, public string. So you need to generate, regenerate a string, right? So it's going to be what? Uh, build string, something like this, right? And I pass in the string s. And then I'm going to create a stack. So I put in a character inside the, uh, inside the stack, and then new stack, right? And then I'm going to return string dot value of stack, right? And then traversing the entire character in string s. So if c does not equal to palm, right? Basically, stack dot push, right? You push the c into it, right? And then basically, if uh, if c does not uh, if c does equal to uh, palm, and also stack is not empty is not empty then you pop right so you can actually delete this this, this doesn't mean anything right because if the c doesn't equal to pound right it's definitely equal to if it, if c does equal to pound right and you just call the else if statement but this is actually uh, pretty neat right you want to uh, tell every tell everything you want in the inside the if statement. So, for my recommendation, this is better. And then in this one, you just return. So I'm going to say build string. I'm passing the s. And then once I have the string, I will say is this is equal to what build string p. So this is going to be pretty much it, right? So I'm going to submit. All right. So let's talk about time and space. So uh, for this one, this is what? This is a space and this is a time, right? So the space is going to be the max maximum between s and t. So all of s comma t. And the time is also the all of s comma t. Which one is, is greater Then you pick the worst one, right? And then this is one of the solutions. So I'm going to just show you another one. But this is going to be exactly similar idea. So uh, here, here we go. So, I'm going to create two stacks. So one stack is for string s, the other one is for t, right? So I will traverse the in, traverse entire uh, stack in in s and traverse another one in t. So uh, again, now if you see the palm, I mean if you does not see the palm, right? If you didn't, if you didn't see the palm, you push, and then if you see the palm and then it's not empty, then you just pop, right? And then uh, once you finish the two traversal, right? You see if the size, if the stack of size are equal, if they are not, you return false because they are not matched, right? And then I will just keep popping, keep popping out the current uh, current two stack and then to see if they are actually equal or not. If they are not, then you return false. If they are, then at the end you return true at the end, right? Um, just submit, pretty much the same. And for the time and space are still the same, this is what all of all of S, all of T, right? And then the worst one is going to be. Uh, it depends on like which one is which, which one is the the longest. So the S comma T. So 
uh, for, uh, this is pretty, pretty much uh, for the time and this one is definitely shorter than this right shorter or equal right and this is a space space is going to be all of s comma all of t so which one is the worst then you pick that so this is the solution so uh, leave a comma if you have any question and i will see you next time bye